everybody, I'm Anya Mueller here at Fork Grill Cafe in Rapid City with the founder, Rhonda Piercy. Now, Fork Grill Cafe is a pay what you can eatery, so you can pay for your meal, you can also pay a meal forward, or you can volunteer to earn your meal. And today we're doing some easy to do summertime recipes, and we're yep. starting with a watermelon gazpacho. Yes, yes, So tell absolutely. us what to do first. All right, so I'm gonna tell you everything that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a watermelon, you're gonna need a red onion, you're going to need a cucumber, whether it's from the garden or we love the English cucumbers. Um, and then you're gonna need some lime. And the choice of your pepper that you would like. So first of all, you would cut the watermelon in half, which is already done. Then what you want is you want to gently take the top off, hands up. And we actually have this on a, this is a great tool, a great um, little cheat is actually putting it in in your sheet pan. You put it in your sheet pan and then so then you don't have watermelon all, all over the counter. So you cut it around like a cone. So now that we have peeled the outside of the watermelon, we've t sliced off the rind, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut it in half again because we have half the watermelon, now we have a fourth. It could be a whole math lesson. So then what you're going to do is if you, uh, you're, we're gonna cut this watermelon into bite size. This will be, um, if you want to use it, the other half for something else besides the gazpacho. So now that I've cut it, then I'm going to gently flip it over and I'm going to carefully cut it again. That's a great way to cut watermelon. Yep. This is one of the methods that you can use to cut your watermelon and then you're going to have even slices. So this is great. Next, you're going to want to cut your cucumber. So you can pick either, this is an English cucumber. An English cucumber, what it is, you can actually eat the whole thing. So it has a really tender skin to it, so you can, no waste. Um, other cucumbers, as you can see, the seeds inside are bigger. This is straight from the gar our gardens as well. Um, but you want to, for the caspacho, you want to actually take the seeds out. So if you were using a regular cucumber, you're going to do two things. You're going to take this, the seeds out, which is quite a bit of pulp. The pulp and the, there's quite a bit of juice. Um, but you'd also want to peel this. It depends if you have, if you're comfortable with eating, if you normally eat with the, the skin on, you can do that. Otherwise, if you have an English cucumber, a little less seeds in here, so you have a little bit more of the flesh that you can use. Cut it in half. Then if you, to chop it. This is just gonna give it a little bit of head start because your cucumber is a little, it's firmer than your watermelon. And when we go to blend this, it'll take a little less time to do the watermelon than it will your cucumbers. Red um, onion, and I've already cut it in half because we've used it for some of the previous. Um, and I'm gonna cut the outside off. All right. So now we have our cucumber, we have our onion, and then we're gonna use pepper. Um, you can use a pepper, whatever is your preference. It, this is a jalapeno, which is a little bit hotter, depends on how your, what your width level is. Um, you, could use, you could use, if you liked uh, green pepper, you could use a green okay. pepper, which is a sweeter pepper. If you wanted to use red, you could just use a red pepper, complete sweet. And then you're gonna take out your seeds and you're gonna take out the white vein and we're just gonna use half of this. This is gonna give us some flavor, but not the heat. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to zest a lime. So it's a lot easier to zest a lime before you use the juice of it. So since we're doing about a fourth, I'm just gonna go all the way around about once. Yep. So then I'm only using a fourth, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this, but this is the juice that we're gonna use for the watermelon. So now that we have the watermelon cut, our cucumber cut, our onions cut, our peppers cut, we are ready to go. And then our lime, ready to squeeze. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the lemon in with this. You want this at the texture that you would like. You can have it where it is pureed all the way. So you can make this, um, your own watermelon gazpacho. So if you wanna make it a little more Italian, you could add the basil. If you wanna make it a little more um, Mexican, you can add the cilantro. And there you go, you'll have gazpacho. I like it's a different one's fresh, that one's still a little chunky. I like that though. You do? You just a little chip dip in there. Yeah, you could use it for that as well. Good. 
I like it. It's good. I might just drink it like this.